Now, basically what we're doing initially is just putting numbing medication in. And so we'll numb up the skin of the breast and then the underlying breast tissue. Do you feel this? A little bit. A little bit. Yeah, this is on the other side of it. It's on and off. Okay. If you look up on the screen, you can see the fibroadenoma to the right. And then the, the numbing medication's going all the way over to the back side of it there. And then I'm going to put some up over the top which does two things. One is it gives us some numbing up top, but the other is see how close this is, this fibroadenoma is to her skin. Once we start the freezing, we need to protect that skin, otherwise she's gonna get frostbite and then it sort of defeats the purpose of a nice cosmetic procedure. So in putting some numbing up here, it gives her the anesthetic effect, but it also drops that fibroadenoma down and gives us a little room for that ice to do its job. And then the last thing I'm gonna do is put some numbing actually underneath it because it's not only close to the skin, but this line down here is her pectoralis muscle underneath. Mm -hmm. So sometimes as that ice freezes, it kind of gets real cold on the pec. So I'll put some numbing down. Kind of get it below. So you're gonna, you probably will feel this a little bit more. This is um, actually a step we don't always do. In fact, if I've done the core biopsy, this is already done. Um, it's pretty standard when you do biopsies on things mm -hmm. to leave a marker in place, and especially with this procedure, because eventually the goal is gonna be that the fibroadenoma goes away. We want um, basically a record on our subsequent mammograms and images where it was. Okay. Go ahead and get started. So you're going to hear a lot of noises over here. You're going to hear the machine turn on, and then you're going to hear this kind of chug chugging noise. Go ahead. So what you'll see if you're watching on the screen, you see the probe there, and you see it starting to get black behind it. That's because the ultrasound waves can't go through the ice. You'll see that double white line get higher and higher and higher, and that's just as it's starting to engulf the whole thing. Sort of eclipses it. As you can see, you have to have the probe centered directly in the middle of the lesion. Um, this is not something you can just do by palpation or, or just by feel. Um, I think there's some surgeons that probably work with radiologists and maybe have the radiologist place the probe. I've, I'm not sure why then the surgeon's actually treating the patient. Um, so you, you absolutely have to, you just can't do this procedure without ultrasound. But the image quality is, uh, I mean, this is, you're not going to get much better than this. No matter how much you pay for the system, no matter, how, no matter how much it weighs. And so when you consider you're getting this incredible image quality and the functionality, or I can just pack this up and take it to the operating room, throw it in the trunk of my car and not have to worry about it. You don't get that with any other system. And, you know, what they've been able to do is not just sort of keep pace with everybody else, but really surpass everybody else. And everybody else is trying to catch up to them. Um, when I got my 180 plus, they were the only hand carried ultrasound on the market back in 2002. Um, and like I said, with each generation, it just gets better and better. And I don't know what GE's customer support is or anybody else, but I'm not necessarily willing to try. I mean, I've got a clinical specialist that I started with back in 2002. If I have a question, Jody's here. You're not going to get that with a lot of other companies. Um, so from all ends, it's, it's not only that they make what I think is a superior product, but they have superior customer service, too. You know, and I had the opportunity about a year or so ago to go, and actually I'd never taken the plant visit and you know the assembly line and everything and watch how they drop test these and everything you know we're we get a little nervous if we kind of slip with it but you know they throw all of these on the floor under force you doing okay minute 12 seconds to go um and they warranty them um there's a five-year warranty on these that basically covers everything you're not going to get that with too many other products and not only do they replace it, they FedEx it to you the next morning. So, you know, if there were any technical issues, we never had a technical problem with the Micromax, and we've not had one with our Turbo yet. But if there were, 
All I have to do is make a phone call and I've got one the next morning. Because again, I can't practice without it. They recognize that. So, And if I really needed it by that afternoon, they'd probably figure out a way to do that too. How much? Three.